Shall we start? Yes. Thank you, Nazo Gordi. Jamro Simje, Timeshi Gumbat, and it mustn't come to so um, mustn't choose so much. So, uh, during the first session, we have finished the uh, t taking a uh, refuge and generating a, a general awakening mind, then for immeasurable and followed by cultivating expression of bodhicitta and engaging bodhicittas. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yes. So uh, please look at the page nine. It's like a, a A4, there's a, a stanza above A4. So if you wish to take the vows of engaging with the Chita, imagine that you repeat the following after the object of refuge, the victorious ones and their children. So that's the uh refers to A4 stanza. So that so uh, we have mentioned uh, at the beginning of the uh, this talk uh, in terms of the vows uh, because of the nature of the three vows are different therefore you know, for, for the individual liberation vow so one takes the inter individual liberation vow from the abbot or uh, abbot along with the sangha community and for the Buddhasattva vow, you take from the Buddha and the Buddhasattvas, antras of the Buddhasattvas. And the, for the uh, Tantric vow, uh, visualizing a uh, hunting master who is in inseparable form of the deity along with the man mandala. So you take a Tantric vow. So, yeah. 
So now I'm sure you all know the difference between the engaged expressional Buddhist expressional uh expressional bodhicitta and the engaging bodhicitta. So aspiration of Buddhachitta is just like it's an aspiration. You aspire to achieve a Buddhahood for the benefit of all dear mother sentient beings. You aspire to achieve, okay? So engaging Buddha, engaging Buddha refers to not just you aspire to achieve Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings, uh, rather you want to uh, put into action of a Buddhasattva such as uh, you yourself training in the perfection of the six perfections and engaging in the deeds of the uh, four uh, accumulations. So, mm -hmm. so those are the deeds of the Bodhisattva and you are determined to engage in those deeds. Mm -hmm. Any so uh so uh, verse a4 uh, so this is an uh, actual line for engaging uh uh for the chitta as we mentioned earlier like uh, the importance of visualizing the uh refuge object uh and since you wish visualize the merit object so in front of the buddhas and the bodhisattvas uh you are evoking them to as a witness that not uh in the line it says like just like the past buddhas and bodhisattvas who have a train in a gradual path of perfecting in six perfections in a sequence sequential sequential manner such as training in the giving then observing morality then practicing the patience then uh, uh, then training in the joyful effort and then in the meditative uh, uh, the, the, in the meditation then perfecting in the wisdom so those are the six perfections not just hosh -bosh, but rather in a the sequence has some something deeper meaning so training in that proper order and then accumulating in this for accumulations. So just like the past Buddhas and Buddhas who have trained in this manner, I too will follow their footsteps to train in that manner. So that's the meaning of the uh, verse A4. Mm. I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. So you need to re repeat those three times 
And when you, like I saw, generating this, uh, while you're reading this, evoke this deep sense of admiration, devotion, and dedications, then at the third uh, repetition, you just feel that now I, I received the engaging uh, bodhicitas, okay? Mm. This is important. Thank you, Sambit Dombatang. So so like uh, so the one difference uh, between the indiv individual liberation vow and the tan uh, uh, sattva and tantric vow is like a uh, uh, individual liberation vow so uh, like uh, like uh, if you if you somehow if you cannot uphold this, there's a rituals that you can you can unbind that vow. So it's just asking teachers to take back the vow because I cannot like uh, observe it. There is a such a way, but like once you like there's some rituals to perform to like uh, give him back. But then you cannot just then later you change your mind. I want to back. So you cannot do this repeatedly. You cannot just stay. stay. Uh, but where's the but the sattva and thunder vows, right? So since we are practicing, we are, right? So if we make mistakes, since we're doing a practice, we make mistakes, right? So you say, so you, so you don't follow the, the commitment, but you can retake. Peter 5, you can retake the tantric vows, you can take again and again. So there is such a leniency to re taking again and again. So that's a uh, privilege in Bodhisattva vow and the tantric vow. So you can take Bodhisattva, such so as Bodhisattva vow, many times as you want, right? Just. Can I take time? Jim, do you soon be a card of a double Tamasun day, Tamigi, and it take the door down? And it take that, not do that one talk that changes to be Dumba Yoga Shishachi, and Dumba Yoga Shishachi, and it take Yamba to the day, Yamba Yasuch songs, my Yamba Shin Yoga in a corner of the persons and so uh, I'm just assuming that you, you you assuming that you all have a bodhisattva vow and the uh, tantric vow. So therefore, um, at the end of the third repetition, so it's if it's really important that since you have so if if something like an incas it refresh, uh, if if you purely observe, you further enhance. Right. So this is very important at the at the end of third generations, right? Uh, yeah. And so like uh, one thing I just want to like uh, uh, add on in terms of the uh, visualizations like the uh, the refuge object or the merit field so like before we visualize so it's important like it's important to invocations inviting them right invocations for the invocation like there are two uh the ways to do it but one is like a according to the uh the words of the master so like a, uh 
inviting the uh, from the sphere of Dharmakaya, you inviting them in the form of uh, 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 form body. From the from the sphere of Dharmakaya, you invite them in in the Nirmakaya. Nirmakaya means the form body. Okay. So in the in, in a Buddhist understanding, Dharmakaya prevails everywhere. Since Dharmakaya prevails everywhere, so it's not like when we invite, we are not like a producing out of thin air. Rather, there is a basis, substance is there because Dharmakaya prevails everywhere. Out of Dharmakaya, we invite manifest, Dharma, Dharmakaya manifests in the form of Nirmanakaya, which is the form body. Okay, so this is maybe if we have, if we have, if, if we have this kind of understanding, then it is easier for us to invoke them from the Dharmakaya in the form of Nirmanakaya, form body, then we can visualize. Uh, then the, the next like a uh, like a uh, invocation is you can do is inviting them from the truth of the uh, uh, a sphere of nature of reality then you invite them in the emanation uh, body so so basically it means like every buddha has his or her Pure land, uh, at the equivalent of the Umutoku Kushingo, is the pure land for all the exclusive for the Buddha, or the, some Buddha has different their own pure land. So you are inviting them from the pure lands to your merit field, the emanation bodies. So, which is suggesting maybe previous method, maybe it's a suitable or uh, so the previous uh, invocation method is maybe maybe more suitable for us because when we think of like a since the dharmakaya prevails everywhere so therefore there's a basis for us to invoke the nirmanakaya or the form body it's easier just like a, the water the bubbles comes from the water base so it's a bubble it's bubble pops because there's a water the base right so just like that So like uh, earlier and so on, let me just add on this for the visualization of the merit fail. So uh, but like when you visualize the how height Right. So it's about your like a forehead in terms of like your forehead and how far from your body its length is if you if you if you make a full prostrations length length of your body at that distance closeness and the height is about your forehead in the space above. The reason is if it is if you visualize too high then they, they may be like a, uh, when you meditate the obstacle excitement obstacle may encounter it. if it's a too low then the dullness in your meditation dullness may appear, appear mm. right so to to dispel those two obscurations the proper height and the length is a crucial mm. yes, so here when I say like a forehead, so the forehead has to parallel, has to run to the uh, three cushions, right? 
uh, lotus, moon, and sun cushions. So those three cushions are approximately at your forehead, so right the height. So now, like, okay, now next part is the dissolutions. So how, how the way in which, okay, the, how we dissolve those, we should, uh, how we dissolve all the merit field that we have visualized is, we can dissolve this through instantaneously, like it's just one in an instantaneously, uh, like all, all the matter field dissolves upon yourself. Mm. Uh, all if you want to do a little more elaborately, then all the um all the uh the Kangala Korda would you call Kanga to the Latim. So the Kangaya Tumbal Tim. Then big oh should you can go with Shuni uh Karthwade. Pema Dawa Nima and the Gala should you give Tumba Tim and Tumbaya and Chijun Chinus on a USA book number Juni and Ranya Matimba and this sometime here. Let's see. So, like, uh, since there's a five family, uh, five, five families of the refuge, refuge object, so every anthrage dissolves to the principal and then principal, four, all the four principal dissolves to the Buddha Shakyamuni and the, the throne dissolves to the three question, three questions. Uh, successively dissolves one after another, and then everything dissolves to the Buddha Shakyamuni. Then Buddha Shakyamuni dissolves into a light a yellow light, and the ye yellow light dissolves upon oneself. That is a little bit more elaborated dissolutions. Mm. So, with this one, we complete with the uh, engaging uh, Buddhicitta. So uh, stanza A5, A5 is uh, uh, cultivate, cultivating rejoice. That thing did that they debut use, think it to use, baggy, and then me say, debut the Jabatana, turn the number chair use, and me tell a number D, and then coach over chair use, me say, well, like what Yes. So if I if I uh, basically like we need to cultivate a uh, rejoice, right? Uh, so here is like having excellently attained a human existence. My life has now. One fruit here, it means now I serve the purpose of this having precious body because I'm able to engage in the, this practice, okay? So fruit here refers to I'm able to take the essence or I'm able to fulfill the purpose. Uh, today, I have, today I have taken the rebirth in the family of the Buddha and have become a Buddha's child, means uh, uh, Buddha child refers to the Buddha Sattvas. Because you already now, not only you took the aspirational buddhicitta, since you're also taking the engaging buddhicitta. That means since you became the buddhasattva, you took the vows, right? So that's the buddhasattva refers to the buddha's child. Yes, 
Sanji Giri Suchi, Sanji Gis Suchu, Chanju Sembe Dombalang. Then the Che Tsai Mundu, Tangi Sanji Giri, the Tumba Chikuri, the Machena, any Cheme Chagri. You may tumble the Lan Yumba Mijita Chani Gigi, Karsuri, Chanju Sembe, and Chanju Sembe Gi, Joba the Tumba Checking, Chanju Sembe Gi, any Dombalang Bay. And the Tamsi the game Miguelang, a pio thinking the pio compatri. So, this uh, verse, if uh, A6, from now on, so uh, so this A6 basically it, it says, uh, since I became the uh, family member of a Buddha, I mean, became a Buddhasadva, right? Is the uh, became a uh, family member of Buddha. Therefore, I will act in accordance with the family rules, uh, Buddha's family rule, which is to to cultivate the deeds, to develop, be mindfulness or be conscientious about your own actions and be more courteous to the well-being of others. And that is the, uh, the Buddhasattva is supposed to do, and I will follow that. So that's the meaning of A6. Mm -hmm. Yamani Bayo Gumbati, Dinini, Musim Tilapjaras, Gawa Gumbatan Payo Tembati, Gawa Gumbat Payo Tembadini, the Musum Gilabjan Al Karison, Simji Japan, two to two, some go by some bars, or dig it times one at the Kochu Guris. So please turn to the page ten. So there's a blank page right in the middle. <coughs> the page ten, so it says that thinking thus constitutes a uh, a meditation on mindfulness. These two verses above uh, fulfills the instruction given in relation to wishing bodhicitta. So here earlier I translate as expression of bodhicitta. It means the same thing, okay? Wishing bodhicitta, namely that one must contemplate the benefits of generating bodhicitta in succession. So it, it means so by cultivating uh, expression of bodhicitta six times a day and six times a night fulfills one of our commitments. So up to here we finished So up to here we have finished the uh, preliminary part of Guru Yoga here in the sixth session Guru Yoga. So now from from the A7 is the actual instruction on the uh, Guru Yoga beginning with the visualizing the merit field. So, so just like uh, before, like a uh, visualization, so here is a, it's a similar in the space before me, on an enchanting jewel throne, lotus sun, and full moon. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yes. And uh, so, uh, I mean, uh, mentioned since it's a similar to the earlier what we explained. So, in the space before me on an enchanting jewel throne. Uh, so, on that jewel throne, we mentioned the three cushions, right? So here, lotus, sun, and moon full moon cushions so uh, just like earlier we mentioned the uh, symbolic meaning of those three cushions such as illusory body clay light and unification states those are the meaning of those three cushions right 
And so on that cushions sits my root guru. So here root guru, whoever your root guru is in that actual physical form, right? Uh, but inseparable form of uh, all pervading uh, Vajradhara. So like the first when we visualize, we visualize your uh, whoever your root guru in that physical form and that physical form instantaneously transformed into the Vajradhara. Vajradhara mm. is the Kundungumbuche ชีชิกชานีอันชานีกิตุจิตะทิบุสมบาตะตังกิอันนั้นอันดะชิบะตะอุลฮาฮาสงเจวิกิจัมโบกิเจวิกิเซตะกิโตตอมบะจอมเต
Tangat Karakoi. Subject of Chagi Merodi, the Tangat Jidu Yumgi Dodi, Mojati and the Yores. They say, and also like some for the painter, right? When they painted, it, if they drew the same exact color, so painting wise from the artist's perspective, it's not. Uh, uh, so they, they thought maybe it's better if they put little like a father is a dark blue and mother is a little bright lighter blue so you see the, the yeah contrast right uh yes and you have like the given a true dead lama kashi tiny la peme chitung set and they sung it yes since the mother's two feet like a embrace the father's waist right so this position is sometimes some lama saying it's like a uh, it's a lotus feet okay lotus holding mm. lotus cross maybe yeah. yes lotus, lotus cross, cross. Then it sembe si bora rinchen jeman thing sembe se do ten sambo sum ju tani ta beje sambo je ju gi treba yes then it's just like a uh, then next line brilliant with the marks and signs uh signs he is adorned with the numerous jewel ornaments so the brilliant brilliance with the marks signs refers to the like a, those are the uh uh like a marks of enlightened beings uh marks and yeah so here it just men briefly mentioned brilliance with the marks and marks and signs here refers to those are the marks and signs of enlightened beings. So here are marks, there are 32 marks of enlightened beings and there are 80 signs of enlightened beings. So like a the brilliant marks and signs refers to this one. Mm. Yes. Yes. Sabasetti. <laughs> Yes. So, like uh, the next line, and wearing a garments of enchanting divine silk, silks, right? So, enchanting divine silks. So, qualities of en enchanting divine silks are very light, smooth, and when you wear it, it's sort of like transparent. It doesn't blocks the ones of uh, like a, some garments, so like a, you don't see, like it blocks your physical shapes. This one, it's it's sort of transparent, but it shows all the figures of the bodies. That's that enchanting divine shape means. Then, but I'm just one question. Since that you go, you are doing any, then but I'm just any, one question. Seva, me don't get done, go get done, any. Seba the Shibe, Tome Tamje, Sinumi, and did you put him any more so show you some coolers? So, so now more importantly, uh, when when one visualizes such a uh, uh, when visualize in this manner, uh, all sufferings are dispelled by merely remembering him. Uh, with the nature encompassing all supreme objects of refuge. 
Yeah, this is a, yeah. So merely remembering in this order can emancipate one's sufferings of this life or samsara and the sufferings from the true obscurations. Chabjo nali dubi danyitos, ani chabgi cho jawa thamje dubi ngodaw. Chabgi cho, pa chabgi cho yungwe rao mang, jumze mangu sungur batang ato Lama Chuba Tang, Ta Lam Rim Tang, Ta Dung Shin Yit Shin Yit Tin Su Kota Wutan, Lamigi, Sundip Ta Wutan, Lamigi, uh Yun Danger the Dig Tsu Mangu Hudu Lama Chuba the Tiwan and Tuzum Chuju Shubi Lama Tang. Say Shuloka Chik Tini Chik Sanji Tambi Chimbi Matu Maru to Kini did was second any chap Kangi any Karsukura Nangi any cho. Any job you do, any carzure, you and them, Nubam, Kanga duding, Gitani to Tarangita, Lama, the Java to Jang, Emedo, Samgura, Hotelia, and Jabjo Malu to be tiny toes, Jabby Chop. Any job Java City, Tamji, Tamji to be tiny to Muni, Murgo Yaris. So here, uh, this line with the nature encompassing all supreme objects of refuge. So now we have to understand this, your root guru, right? So earlier we visualized your root guru instantaneously transformed into the Vajradhara. And that Vajradhara is the ultimate source of refuge. He is the or she is the embodiment of all the refuge beings. So that's what it means uh, encompassing. And there are lots of quotations from our Guru Puja and the many texts about Sudra and Tantra that how your Rur Guru is the ultimate manifestations of all the Buddhas. And uh, in terms of they, I mean, so they, they have lots of quotations um, about how your root Gurus, how all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, how all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas ultimately they wanted to help us, but but they they appeared in the form of our root gurus and so on and so forth. So that's what it entails the meaning of all encompassing with the nature encompassing all supreme objects of refuge. Then it chidun tsuji shuvi ne sontos any shudan di chidun tsuji shuva che tangi shuva na chin che yab di uh doji chidun che yun de da doji chinu cheva dao be me chidun dao chichini. Show you a check, dig in a nestum like you, Om Gabu, Temba Amabu, to go home with Temba, some tongues. So, so now with this, he is seated in the Vajra posture, and his three places are marked by the three syllable light ray. Oh, okay. So now here, this one is this line. We have to understand that uh, fa fa Father Vajradhara sits in a uh, cross Vajra and the Madra either we can say like a half Vajra or the uh, cross uh, lotus, right? Cross refers to like have two feet the empress with the uh, father's waist. And, uh, and both Father Madra uh three parts of the body are marked with the three cell uh corresponding three syllables such as white om at the crown red are at the throat and blue whom at the heart so marked by three syllables refers to this one yes so those three syllables uh, represents the three Vajra bodies. White Om represents the wa Vajra body, red A uh, symbolizes the Vajra speech, and the blue Hum symbolizes the uh, Vajra mind. Mm. 
Any Java Sage and Lama Doji Changi. Number Lea, any to Chen Tang, Tatangi, Mashing in any two good number Chen Tang there did it. Yes. So now this one is next line uh, refers to the invocations. You're inviting uh, Buddhas and, uh, yeah, we're inviting a Buddha. So it's a light ray from the whom means that at the heart of the uh, father mother who invites the Guru Vajadara from his actual abode refers to like a like a earlier we mentioned that the each Buddha has a, its abode or this land. So since the light ray emanates from the father and mother's heart goes to the ten direction of the universe and then invites the Vajatara from the respective pure lands uh, and invites, invites towards oneself. Mm. Since the light emanates from the heart of the Vajrasadvas, it's a it it's a emanates to the ten directions in the universe and invite the uh, Buddha uh, invite the Vajatara of the ten direction ten directions of the universe uh, respected to their abode and invite on the when the light retreat back so each of the Buddhas Buddha and the uh, Antrash along with the abode comes back comes back to the each light and all those infinite uh, Guru uh, Vajatara along with the abode dissolves to that Vajrafada Vajdara who is in the uh, manifestation of your root guru, right? And dissolves onto them. Mm. So the Guru Vajdara that you have visualized in front of you, and this it's a uh, it is the uh, symbolic meaning of uh, uh, promised uh, pledge beings. Mm. Uh, the the Vajadara that you have invited from the ten different uh, that you, you have invited from the ten uh, ten directions of the universe is called Samadhi beings. Okay. But, okay, thing is, thing is simple. Uh, no, sorry, it's not some other thing is simple. It's a uh, wisdom beings. Mm -hmm. What you have visualized is a uh, uh, it's a samadhi beings, and what you have invited is called a wisdom beings. Mm -hmm. So when those wisdom beings, wisdom beings in you, you have just invited, dissolves to the Guru Vajatara that you have visualized, right? The Samadhi being, then as soon as all those infinite Guru Vajatara dissolves to, to him, then he further, uh, further radiant, and becomes more glorious than before. Mm -hmm. So then, like uh, you recite the za hum pom ho, so it's the four syllables, like a uh, za refers to your invite. Za hum means. Za means abide, hum means enter. 
Zhao Hong Pong means dissolves and Zhao Hong Pong Ho hey, becomes then become inseparables. Da digi shuache, hong digi, tembache, pam digi, ah, eme du chubache, ho digi, tembache. So, like a za means uh, abide, hong means enter, za hong. Home means uh, becomes inseparable. Home means becomes uh, like, like a, now the blessing is being sealed, like mm. stabilized. Oh, the that Toshin said that the Cheta can do a shubi and rangi never chip is correct, do not rangi chibi, and then Mama Dojitan Yayum and it Sijin Bawa, Jamrikundu Jungo. So with this now it's very important thing is now like a the the uh, visual object right your like a uh, guru Vajitara has firmly a bless and become more radius more glorious it means it's very much alive very much powerful now. Mm -hmm. Lama Gumbi Kalia, Lama Gumbi Nail, Lamenda, Kashi, and Guyota, Lama Gumbi Nail, Rangiduna Combache, Rangiturlo Combache, Ranginigal Combachin, and the Mendo Tingue. So now, in general speaking, it's like there are different ways to uh, visualize your guru in different. Uh, for example, like a, one way to visualize is a guru who is uh, uh, who, who sits. Uh, like above you, like a, that. What we are described now here is a space above, right, uh, in the height of your forehead, right. That's one you. That's one way you can visualize. Another way is visualizing guru on your crown of your head. Okay, that's a, that's that's the second way. Third way is you can visualize your guru in uh, in your heart. In your heart, you can visualize. So there are three different ways you can visualize. But out of those three, what we are prescribing here is to in the uh, space above you at the le at the height of your forehead. Mm -hmm. So like uh, then um so when we uh so here like uh, since we have visualizing uh guru uh, in the space above you in the height of in your forehead and then to him when we do the supplication so we begins with the seven limbs of offering and so forth and for that purpose like it just we're visualizing the space above you okay mm. so from the uh, seven limbs of offerings so it begins with the making prostrations Mm. So in the sixth session Guru Yoga, it doesn't cover all the seven limbs, mm. uh, okay, but the sum, okay. Mm. If you can, you can add on all the seven. Mm. Uh, right. ตาดิเจเชโรจิตตอดุจิชุเวนะลามะคังกิทินจีสเดเจเซดิอ่าซุงจุกุคุมบันติเจซันเจกุมบันเซนาเดซุงจุกุคุมบันเซนาเดเอ
Yani in you do you tell don't you blossom chosum the daily ya any sanji you combat to the data be your good of kiji kiji chick double chagero then dunk lama kangi tinji and in dawa chimbo sonju you combat day any nick do you tell you am blossom chosum lia any no tober tober chingi and the lama in chin, rambuji tabuye and digi karzu kui shab mashu sura kui te mashu ani dojigi ani shabes another pematelia ni kuduchigi is in it and chat what it is. So uh, the verse. Uh, a8. So here it says that, like, uh, um, because of the kindness of the, like, a guru, right? Uh, guru, and because of his or her kindness, I'm able to achieve the uh, unification state, refers to the Buddhahood. Uh, Buddhahood here in the state of the great, great bliss refers to the unification state of Buddhahood. Uh, and that achieving, because of kindness of my guru, I'm being able to achieve the unification state in an instinct refers to, according to the Sutra tradition, to achieve enlightenment, one needs to accumulate merit for three great eons. That's a long time, right? <laughs> That's a long time. So, but compared to this one, a tantra prescribed like a, one can achieve enlightenment in uh, three year, three months, and three, three weeks. That, that like roughly like in three years, one can achieve enlightenment. So compared to three year versus three great eon, three three year becomes the like instinct. So that's instinct refers to here this one, right? So. So because kindness of my guru, I'm able to achieve the group of the state in that instant manner. Therefore, at his lowest Vajra feet, I bow down. So that is the a prostrate. That's the uh, first limb, which is a prostrations. Mm. So if if not three years, right? But if if we really like uh, just uh, if we put our buggles up and to really like uh, uphold those samaya purely and dedicate, right? Even even we achieve enlightenment in a single lifetime, and that lifetime becomes an instant compared to the three great eons. Okay. Mm Chodo tebe tuisum do shesum batar lama lea and it tuisum do cha cha gubati lama no jubi kablia sum yusarwa or dig any kochu yuris. So earlier, like at the line above the page, uh, line above the stanza 1 8. So earlier, we when we did the visualizations, uh, so this actually that doing that visualization it fulfills the commitment of Akshobia. Akshobia is one of the five family Buddha. And there's a, uh, so we are, uh, so one of the commitment is the honoring your teachers. And that's, uh, that's this part of the vow is we are, uh, we are upholding uh, it by doing this visualization. And now, now uh, while we do the verse A8, uh, it's again like a, this also serves the purpose of the another vow which is the Buddhist so here it says like 
And this uh, protects the mind from committing the first of the Bodhisattva's misdeeds and constitutes the act of prostration. <laughs> <in> <laughs> So, uh, accordance with the what is stated in the 50 verses of the Guru devotions, with the supreme faith, uh, three times. So we, with the highest devotions, we need to recite three times a day and three times night, right? So this also serves another vow that it comes with the uh, Bodhisattva vows. Mm -hmm. ตั้งกิเงชุยบาอันดาดิเกพาวงกอรมุจิเกพาวงกอเดจิญิมบุเกยะเนญโจสิกาชิเนญโจนางวะตันดิกังจิกตวะติตันดายุงกุตวะกัง
ตัวเวหุหุเสดนอมังกุดิเชเจดุอ่าหุชุมะเดลาโอลาสุเมนายิงิมะตุเมตังชิเลยาซุนจิงิชุงโกเรลามะทับชิงิชุงโกเรอัน
비게 비게 내 냄새를 되거라. 시간 이 말에 이 말아. 내가 매 내내 로지어라. 예, 내가 로로 매요. 그래서 비게 내 되고 내 매요 로지도. 어, 다들 다 오지 스코. 다들 내가 잡로 매요 도 청고. 다들 티니 바디. 레세. So this the line refers to that uh, there's a, like a uh, blazing light uh, aura or blazing light for the uh, Buddha. Okay, that light refers to. That's so then next line next line is this uh, om to you who hold an x and up huh uplifted nose right uh, a spear and kadanka it's a, a trident right kadanka means a trident so that's like a uh, hand implement of the uh, Chakrasampa and then on to you who wear a tiger skin clothes. <laughs> <laughs> confused. So with my books, it, it, it might be mix up the, the mother's uh, headlines and the father's headlines uh, trees. So actually, when we recite, first headlines uh, priest for the fathers and then uh, mother's headline priest. Rebbe so So here like a dus much So we maybe 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 I will just uh recite for the uh, transmission. It may take more times and it, everybody may confuse. So I will recite the, this uh line and if you interested you should find some commentary book about the uh, uh, Chagra Sambrava or uh, Veja Yogini. Those commentary have uh, those uh, details. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Om Jani Bhava Om Jala Chate Hon Hon Be Om Kepa Chama Medan Yimeo 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 Hon Hon ตัวที่ชิมไปจนหงหงไปอ้อนตัวมันมันซื้อสมัครมาเดี๋ยวหงหงไปอ้อนตัวนั้นเลยก็มีชีวิตเลยหงหงอ้อนมันจะเลยจ
but however like i mean if you only receive the father tantra if you want to you can recite it's very powerful uh, but those who have received the mother tantra there's a man sort of mandatory mm-hmm. ダブルソンダマソンダンモシミジトゥバレチョンワチナサンワイナゾチュディンチャトペスチョバピエティナセタダブルソンワセナランギランギダドソンウェイアゴブナムチェダブルマソンワアタモリタナテナチェテタンア
have some some kind of ownership. <laughs> whether whether uh, how to say the uh, the legally belong to United States or Europe or whatever, but uh, reality actual we have a relationship to the, our karmic. So I, I will give you one simple example. We have a example when we uh, study at the. Uh, middle way uh, scripture. So they said uh, one single bowl of water. When same time, when the uh, goddess, human beings, and hungry ghosts simultaneously look at the that bowl, one sees as an actor, not the water. And one sees just water, not the nectar. And one sees just some kind of like a, a blood or something. It's the same object, but the different being sees different things. Not just seeing different things, but when they uh, use it, when they when they uh, when they three different individual want to, how to say, drink it, it's different. One receive the nectar, goddess receive the nectar, human being uh, receive the water, and then uh, hungry ghost receive a kind of like a blood. It's because of their own karma, uh, uh, how to say, related. After this way, Tinham the town, do you? Hagi, did you tongueri? Migi, chu tongueri? Idagi, not a tongueri? Long jerical yell haggy, did you long jerguri? Migi, a chu long jerguri? Idagi, a not a long jerguri? Migi di tung the duty a carsuore, ronyon to guiomare? Idagi, chu ron a nyunguiomare, not a nyunguri? He called to us and a lay to be rich. So they told the Pagigi uh Shitelaya and it rang is a lady you have that is. So basically like it just we are trying to underscore that the so here in the Rubich's example the the liquid corresponds to your karmic uh karmic force with the karmic force depending on your karmic force that liquid manifests. Right, so it's a human. It's a liquid manifest in the form of water, where the gods, the nectar, and the hungry ghosts, the bloods. So the same ball of liquid manifests corresponding to your own karmic force. Uh, so yeah, so that's like a, it's what you see. It's a reflection of who you are, right? So it's the same concept. Mm. So the, the, why why I telling this is it, it's related to the, our planet, right? Our planet. So we do have a each of in, individual has a, their own uh, karma, something related to the, this planet. So <laughs> we have a right to offer, even if we don't own those things. But I cannot offer. Which things particular belong to the Lamala? If I do that, then I might break one of my main <laughs> vows. So, so that's a different, right? So in general, so it says like a, basically we we say here like here's which is trying to make the point here is the world that we like a the. Uh, uh, like we, we we call it right so like a, the world that we live in it's it's a, it, it 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 was a formed through the collection collective karma of the beings in that universe since i'm a part of this universe my karma is equally invested in that collective force therefore 
legally I'm not entitled, but spiritually like it's, uh, uh, my share is there. Therefore, I can offer this mountains. But in a general sense, I cannot own somebody's writing because it's a page rights, right? How do you say? Like it's not allowed. Mm -hmm. But we are not talking in that sense. Rather, my karma is uh, invested through the collective karma. Therefore, I can make offerings. So with this, like we are doing, we are here, like uh, so with the, you can make an offering what you have and you can still offer even though it's not like a, uh, yours, but you can still make a true collective, also the collective karma and through the mentally as great as innumerables. Mm the <laughs> So here, outer, inner, and secret refers to the three different types of offering. So outer offerings, as mentioned earlier, like a, all the um, like a, the mundane offerings, mundane offerings. So inner offer, inner offering refers to the uh, inner offerings, the five five nectars, five nectars are the uh, inner offerings and the secret offering refers to offering the uh, uh, offering the uh, mother through the force of offering a mother and uh, realizing the great bliss is the form of uh, secret offerings so this offering has to made like a full abundance like as, as as much as you mentally able to visualize so uh you can make this offering as innumerable as possible mm. So one of so what like so this from this one it's what it's helpful like a day to day practice is every meals that we that we have in a day uh, it's important to make that food offering before we consume you know or like a fruits or flowers what what do we have before you we can use it make an offering first yeah most most of uh, I mean, hundred percent sure we are eating every day, drinking every day. So whatever we bought uh, first, we should offer to the three jewels or merit field or something like uh, flowers or food or anything we can offer. <laughs> Some people they do very very well. So whatever they bought the food or those things, they put on the altar, and then. Gradually, they take out from the altars and then eat it. But this should be the of your address. Now, next one is like a eleven. Uh, it's a mandala offerings. That's your period. 
Dini tundu ji chubay tamzi chongsi lo chubay le ni jini ji se ni nga ge anta nga dung ke le anta nal yores. So um, the offering the ten uh, a ten is the commitment of uh, uh, Buddha among the city, one of the five family Buddhas. So the line that says this is the way to this is the way to fulfill the offering commitment of among the cities. Huh? Mm. That is meant that the ashing longa yisum longju tosum keto chi. Lenjame uh so like uh, now next one is the uh, mandala offering uh, 11 mandala offering so one way to uh, make a mandala offering is to making offering the whole uh, universe including the mount meru and and also uh, eight eight auspicious symbols and seven royal emblems and so forth all those uh, we are making offering in the form of mandala right that's one way to do it and the second one is you are like a the your root of the virtue that you have uh, accumulated uh, uh, this life the previous life and all other beings virtue that they have accumulated so you are making offering in the form of mandala too Rangi Yiji Mevacheni. Lui Lang said, Rangi Mevacheni. That the Karskore. The Menda and the people da shen da shen yiga ki lu ma yi sum ki tu sum to sasha be and lu lungju ki za the jeba tamje. And he Rangi Lui Lang is another Rangi Yiji Juni. Alamayokunjusona so here at the verse like 11 it says with the body speech and mind of myself and others as well as a wealth and collection of virtue of three times an excellent and precious mandala or together with the mass of Samantha Bhadra offerings. So I visualize and offer it to the Guru Yidam and the three jewels through the force of your compassion. Please accept them and grant me blessing. So even though like we are but in in, in general presentation like a, so the jewel and everything the universe we are offering that's one act to to buddhas right to the guru buddha but in reality they don't need the whole universe and all those things but then like we just like a, in the next act it's just like a out of compassion of them out of compassion of buddha 
that accepts. We, because if they accepts, then like a, what we did work hard through the visualization becomes a virtuous deed. They accept out of compassion, even though don't, even though they don't need it, they accept out of compassion so that we get a bless uh, in our mind streams. Mm. Accumulate merit and then able to purify our, all the negativities because of that reason. Uh, the all the merit fields, principal merit field or guru Vajadara accepted our mandala offering. To give one vision and dala chinja lotus, Idam Guru and a mandala gania taya me che. Then a lama juba lama la, menda tus on the pearls on the lab jaw, study Jerome Kabdulo and the room. So this is again the fulfills the verses of Guru devotion, 50 verses of Guru devotion that, that one should offer a mandala to the Guru at the three times. Again, this is a part of the commitment. Okay, make a mandala offering. So next A12 is the uh, A12 is the uh, making sub, uh, supplication prayer to the Guru. Tuzun Chobu Dishi Maluba Kando Chishi Mumi Namruji Tamishin to Jeve Devaji Lama Rambuchala Sawatips. That to you soon. I told you in the ship of uh, ก็เชื่อว่าชนิดนี้อยากมาอยู่ไหนตัวเดลามาเลยอันนี้เทวจังก็ชื่อตัวเทวจังวันที่อันนี้ยังไม่ได้อยากมาอยู่นะอันนี
requests. That is all about Hangu Diki Kandar. Lame Yundin Tene, Tebajan, Lame Yundin Tenta, Lama Kanda Shutavana City, to some and it should you Jamna Kundu Gitani, but he do Jacala Kanduji, and it's the but Dene, and it do Jacuma Tegi or Telia, cutting cars for Yundin Tene, Tebajabatiche. That the world again. So now the like verse 12 is again, as I mentioned earlier, this is the, uh, this line is for cultivating uh, confidence, faith towards the Guru, because like Guru is the uh, manifestations of the Buddhas of the Buddhas of three times, and because of his skillful means, he he or she is guiding us on the spiritual path. Therefore, I make uh, just making a supplication request uh, and generating confidence on my guru. And the next line, verse thirteen, a well pressed by Vajradhara as the holiest field for those of the inferior minds. You surpass all the infinite space of victorious ones to my precious guru i make request and this line is um uh cultivating uh, cu uh cultivating uh respect uh, towards the guru because of understanding how kind my guru is okay so here, so for the second line, those of inferior minds refers to like a, for me, my mind is inferior refers to I have not seen the truth. Therefore, my mind is a weak. And to 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 me, like a, you are more holier than all the supreme refuge beings. Ko yimbe jumze ndau kare lana manzule ya o sanje ki kare sugore thile jugur bes lana madur thile jugu mare latu kumarwa sanje ki thile jugur es sanje ki thile jugu ye na ta sanje mo so she se ya dende na madule ya omares. And <laughs> Nanke, <laughs> Yes. So here, this line really underscores the importance of like a, how kind my guru is, because like a, at this point, my mind is a weak. My inferior refers to my mind is a weak because I don't see the truth. It's very difficult to take this spiritual journey. Uh, but because of my kindness of my gurus, I'm able to, right? Otherwise, Buddhas are there, like a, but how do i get benefit like uh, it's hardly that it's it's not obvious like a uh, buddha shakyamuni was one time appeared in india and now now we are in america we don't see we we, we don't have direct connections right but how 10 direction the compassionate activities of the 10 directions of buddha was there but we don't feel feel it in an obvious manner so how what is there is 
right in front of us is a guru. Guru is guiding us. Guru is guiding us from the right, from the beginning, right? And Guru, because of the Guru's kindness, the, every verse, how every like a Dhamma that we know is a kindness of the Guru. So therefore, Guru must be the more holiest, more kinder than all the Buddhas, Buddhasattva, what, what's in the text, right? But Guru is a living being here guiding us. Therefore, his kindness is a far more suppressed, suppressed than the Buddhas of three times. That, that's what is trying to underscore the importance. Mm -hmm. Tangajugi <laughs> So, like, yes, it is true that we all have a Buddha nature, right? But the Guru is Dev right from the very beginning, who is showing us the path, who is showing how to utilize your optimum spiritual potentials that we have, that we that's that is embedded in within our minds too. Guru is the one who really working us with me each one of us right uh, despite where we start so therefore it's really important to acknowledge the how kind my root guru is and in terms of the spiritual realization buddha is no inferior than uh, a buddha is equal but in terms of the kindness my guru is far more kinder far more holiest than the uh, the buddhas of the ten direction because that's a, that's the reality Buddha, like a, Buddha, I don't see a Buddha. What I see, I see my guru, root guru. I don't hear instruction from a Buddha. That's obvious, right? <laughs> what I hear is, I hear the teaching from my root guru. He is the one who teaching me. Therefore, for me, it's obvious that guru is leading me to the path. And therefore, he is more kinder, more kind, right? More precious than the of Buddha. So therefore, in terms of the Guru devotion, training in terms of Guru devotion, training in thought and training in deeds. So here, these two lines teaching us how to train in thoughts. Thoughts here refers to training the confidence, training the trust to our Gurus. So now, like if you read this, uh, the last stanza in the italic, like a, uh, this, should I read it? Uh, so these verses concern the way in which to rely on the virtuous friend, refers to the guru, virtuous friend, that's the one way to say it, through thought, right? This here it says through thought. The first verse generates the faith through remembering the good qualities of the guru and the later verse, after remembering his kindness, generate respect, right? Okay. Now, uh, next move to the uh, verse A14. Okay, all supreme and common attainment without exception depends upon correct reliance on you, refers to the Guru, my protector. Seeing this, I completely give up my body and even my life. Please bless me to practice only that which pleases you. Mm Tiba mera dengan gitu, ni ni, ani lama tang 
rang lu dang so de de dang go chung ba yin na la ma lu me ta wa la ma la de lo ma che ba la ma chu shin tu ten ba de dang go yo ri ji lu dang so tang go yin ne tang ni na ni la ma ne ba kona che ni a chi yin se ne ba kona che ba yong chi ji la ro chi se ni yo ve ten tu ten go so now like so uh uh so here like uh, all the attainment all the realizations like the all supreme and the common attainments are really depends upon proper and healthy reliance on a guru so in other words uh, the bond that we are creating with our own teacher must be healthy and in a uh, in a proper sense if we if we uh if the relation the bond that we is bond that we, if 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 our reliance is not a proper then it creates a ob obstacle for our spiritual realizations so therefore creating a healthy reliance or the bond with the teacher is uh, extremely important uh, uh, so therefore like a, so, such as like i mean just when the guru says uh, do this practice right so we need to do this practice right right so if we don't keep the commitment properly for example this if we don't do the mentioned earlier if we don't do the upholding the commitment properly we don't get realized right so rather if we reliance and respect the instruction if we uphold properly we receive the uh attainment so therefore if we do it properly guru will be happy right so so i will do like a, uh, in early we said even at the course of life i will not forsake the vow that i promised uh so so in a way that that's also like a uh relates in that manner uh therefore like a, uh this line shows earlier we mentioned the guru guru devotion training in the guru devotion as a two-part training in thoughts and training in deeds so we covered the training in thoughts now this is training in deeds okay mm -hmm. So it, it, it doesn't mean, uh, how to say, they have no space to explain to the guru. It, it doesn't mean this. So whatever the guru gave you the instruction about the practice, writing, right path, that this is talking about to follow. It's, if the gurus, uh, uh, how to say instructions are not the right or not the proper way or it's not the right path then it, they in 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 the the uh the five uh, the 50 stanzas uh guru uh the 50, 50 stanza of uh, guru in, uh, guru instruction or something they 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 have a, a particular explanations if you have no way you can follow improper things that the guru might ask you to do, you should explain, I cannot do it. So it, it doesn't mean whatever guru says, you have to follow, it doesn't mean. So it's uh, whatever guru said, it is, uh, how to say, properly, it is, uh, uh, how to say, uh, reliable. I don't know how to so say So basically it. it says like, I mean, so now we're speaking a spiritual sense, right? Yeah. To the Jesus practice, right, right. But if Guru, Guru is telling you do something that like uh, not okay, then we say, no, this is not okay. You don't have to follow it because you say, I'm sorry, I cannot just do this because yeah. that this is not a virtuous, that's not a humanly act. Mm, okay, so um, this is like a, we have to make so don't get like a trapped into like a, we are not saying we are not giving past anything that a guru asked to yet we are not saying this one. Since this is a spiritual practice, if teacher teach you to do in according to with the text do this do that you follow, but 
if teacher asks you to do improper deeds, right, then definitely just reject. That's that's not the right thing to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they one particular uh, verse it states, if you cannot do it, you can explain to the, your guru, because that's the reason I can do it. It's not a proper way to do it or something like that. Also, we said before you rely on someone as a, your guru, you have to investigate, right? So that's very, very important. So whether we like or not, if or when we receive innovations or those commentary transmission for someone who uh, you receive, that means it's already have a, how to say? It creates the bond. Yeah, uh, bond. So, student. so that's uh, a little bit serious things. <laughs> so it is not like, uh, okay, Today say you are my guru and that next month not my guru. So you can do that. So that's why they said it's very important to investigate before you rely on someone as a, your guru. So all all sims, particularly for the tantra and also in the sutra also sims. So the, how to say uh, after you uh, receives like a, a pati moksha vows from your abode or your uh, uh, master. Uh, master, right? Mm -hmm. Or and then the, when you receive the Buddhist Adva vows or Tanta vows or any Asian, those things. But you don't need to, uh, how to say, some shungu marit. And the test is You need to have a good and the You have a marwa. So sometimes, not even like it's just so here, this one like a. Sometimes, like, uh, okay, TJ is asking you to do something proper, right? Well, of course, we, like, uh, just, it's, it's ethical to do by its nature. But if you cannot do it, even it's a ethical and it's a very spiritual thing to do it. But if you cannot do it, but then you can simply explain, I cannot do this. Yeah, I know this is good for me, but <laughs> at this point, I cannot do it. This is a healthy way to develop, right? Doesn't mean teacher asks you to do it. I mean, if it is uh, unethical, then that's a red flag. We can just obviously, right? But even if something, it's a, it's a something a spiritual, right? Something that's a virtuous, even it's a face value. But if you cannot do it, just explain, I cannot do it. Listen. So earlier, Rinpoche is trying to say here is, I think it's important to make this clear, like a guru and disciple relation is a sacred, it's a holy, but you don't rush to make it, mm -hmm. right? Check yourself, ask yourself whether you are ready or not. Nobody is forcing you to do this. When you do this, it's from you because you want to do this. So you have accountability from your part to investigate, to check whether this guru is suitable for you or not. Once you want to do it by yourself with your own, right? You are calling, you are making the shot. Then be responsible. Just be sincere to yourself. It's very important. Because once you set up this bond, then it's it's important to honor that bond, mm -hmm. right? And so this is a very, I mean, this is from a spiritual point of view, it's a sacred, it's a holy, it's, a, it's important, but there's no force is going on. I mean, just totally up to you whether, just check yourself whether you are ready or not. Mm. Susu Yamlingi, Sosa, Dijong Rangi, the Shigi or Maduji, Pajo Lama Jitan, Satan Lama Pajo, the Koran, the Chick, right you, so that would reach Shigi or Matas. Yeah. Otherwise, this teaching can misuse or abuse in a many different ways, right? Many different, many degree. It can be abused in the many, it can be abused in many different forms. And it can be misunderstood in many different ways. For example, so like a uh, now, guru, in terms of the value by it in itself, guru devotion is important. 
Therefore, from the student's point, making about make paying respect, making offering is important for the students on benefit, their spiritual progress. Right? Yeah, like if, if one student pays respect, that gives a space that students to learn more, make an offering. It's on the students cultivating merit and purifications. But if it didn't start in a healthy way, then to think that I'm doing this for the teacher's sake. So there is sort of obligation and the, like a lot of like a, it might create lots of drama. So, so it's not healthy, right? Mm. Therefore, it's really important to check yourself as you are ready or not. Then check the teacher's qualification and investigate whether it's mentally is inclined to you or spiritually disposition is really fits or not. Don't make a hazy decisions, right? It's very important. But nevertheless, this bond is a sacred and a holy and it has lots of beneficial as a spiritual practitioner, those who are ready, those who are meant to be in that spiritual journey, right? So, so lots of like questions, okay? Yeah, both, both the guru and the disciple have a responsible. Some, some cases in Western country, uh, some people, many, many misunderstood, or oh, only disciple have a responsible. No, <laughs> both way. So the guru has a responsible to take care that your disciple at the right direction, right path, try to, how to say, step by step, to uh, increase the uh, practice. It's, it's, uh, we, when we talk about uh, relying on the, the spiritual guru, it's not talking about the mundane things. It's talking about the spiritual practice. And uh, the one's example, like once I rely on the someone, that someone says, oh, I'm your guru, so something like that. That's, uh, they have no uh, right to say that way. So they have a, how to say, uh, we're talking about the Samaya, right? So Lama has to follow the Samaya too, <laughs> more responsibility. So the, uh, in, uh, according to Tanta, so Lama must follow the, uh, the Bodhisattvas, those Samayas and the Tanta Samayas. So Bodhisattvas, the way they, uh, you know, that they have to, uh, how to say, they have to, how, how to call it? Uh, yeah. Adopt the humility, be humble, right? Yeah, be humble. So that's the most important advice from the Bodhisattva practice. So Lama has to be very humble and respect all the sentient beings above you. So, uh, uh, so uh, some, some cases, you know, that the, uh, the, when talking about the relying on the spiritual uh, master, Many people got confused, even uh, even Tibetan people, they confused and sometimes they different confused, but it, within Tibetan community, so some of them, every nation, they doesn't matter who gives it, they go, attend, I, I want to go to the long life nation. So many of the senior uh, Tibetan people, maybe they received a long GVD initiation, maybe more than 100 times in their lifetime. So they, so someone come and then give the initiation they want to receive. So, and then after that, they didn't pay attention that much. And sometimes uh, they may gossip, oh, this Lama something, something, this Lama something. So I know that some uh, Tibetan communities uh, do that. So that's a lack of, uh, how to say lack of Knowledge understanding, yeah, understanding of the uh, relying on the spiritual masters, and then within maybe uh, different can, can confuse right. So uh, in in our Buddhist uh, society in the West, uh, past many years we have uh, some unusual case scandals, <laughs> right? We have some 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 unusual case. <laughs> unfortunate uh, case or something like that so uh, everybody has a responsible so I I'm thinking uh, more uh, responsible uh, toward the lamas so they have to show the 
uh, right path and right direction, uh, those things. And uh, when we talk about those, uh, the uh, how to say practice, it's talking about the benefit uh, or increase, uh, how to say, uh, your practice. It is not like a, uh, how to call, fake. Uh, just I mentioned uh, before, like we will capable of receive the Buddha's uh, how to call blessings or Buddha's uh, compassionate activities. Uh, and those activities we have a capability, right? And Buddha has a, that power too. Buddha has a uh, how to say uh, power to uh, give us the, those uh, uh, activities and so they have a have to have a, some way so that's only to the, our guru they have a countless buddhas there but our spiritual uh, the level is too low we cannot see the, those buddhas face to face in the past, like uh, they have uh, many stories, like Lama Tsongkhapa was times. So Lama Tsongkhapa was always uh, the, met with uh, Manjushri, like uh, day to day. So he has uh, how did the sudden uh, he already achieved sudden practice, so he can see the uh, like uh, uh, Manjushri or those deities. But we are lack of those uh, uh, the <laughs> uh, quality. Then we get the only one chance that the Buddha Shakyamuni was in India at that time. But unfortunately, we were not there, right? So now we have to accept Buddha has a compassion uh, to uh, give us the, those uh, compassion activities. So we have a capability, and that's the only way is. Just our the how to say uh, uh, our uh, master or our teacher or our guru. That's through we receive the innations, the transmissions, the instructions, and those uh, path, and then we practice, and we uh, eventually able to achieve the sudden uh, stage of the path, and those uh, uh, how to say uh, those way we about to achieve the, uh, the uh, our, how to call the goal, <laughs> like a Buddhahood, uh, Bodhi, the Bodhicitta, and then eventually go, able to achieve the, 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 how to say, step by step, the, we can achieve the enlightenment. So that's a, not like a fake story or something like that. That's the reality. But in, in our how the reality world, there were many different uh, <laughs> peoples and many different students, many different lamas, many different gurus. So, so, so some, some, how to say, kind of like all uh, our Buddhist uh, followers, sometimes when, he, when we heard this um, unusual uh, things, uh, we all feel like a shame. Uh, what happened? What's going on? Something like that, right? So everybody has that responsibility. Yeah. So time is up uh, now. I have a several. I did that wrong, sir. I have a several verses. I think I have to read it. <laughs> I will uh, leave before the the uh, those uh, samayas. Junior Connor Dover Chinjo, Lieutenant Jury, and to the door, the Nathan Bepe, the Madame Yimit in the Sam Juni, you took your temper. Tom Java and Shin tends to the Lamanga Juby Tom Jusun to Jinimbo watch it. The Dresso Water Bellamacho. The Dresso Water Bellamacho. Rangitu to the Samaza, Lion Chi around the Roji Churus. A de la Samuga and that in the Yorita Lamoche in a Casaro. Mm -hmm. There were some other ways we can get, uh, how to say, um, uh, full empowerment as a bless from the uh, guru or something like that. So I will leave for future, okay? So we don't have uh, much time. So the, uh, 
Then it got Lama la sota near what it does or what a lama chop. So what a balatene, lama la tiguch in the so what a balatene, any lama Java dojic and young yundi, any rangichu chudulia. Rangichu to do, some of the rangichu do the chumbas gum. Do you show you a cadu lama two shay shura? Shay the rama chop de dera. Tadi shoot it at Zukanga, never check. You shoot any. Lama Lia, Tim Lama Gedan Sun did not Lama Coron Yoche, did two penny, a rangi jewel, jewel, chumacala shady, round the Katajo Tumbache. Any lion jason round the roji to jewel slang on you? That Tangilama de Kutze de Mazu Miseja, which is Gomero Dundela. Any two chuny jewel, chumbacatula tissues and jewel. You get on shinchi Lama. Rangiturio, you watch it. Lion Chisha Randa Roji Juru Selandi, Telege Chijunduson, Nindutam Jisuni, Rangata Omanis. That and the sometime and the sometime watch that the lamb watch it ever. Rangiturum, you did Lama Rangiturma, you do Shuni, and then Randa Roji to Juba Churson, Sambatan, Lamikoton to Jichella Maluva Toson, and sometime at Greece. So now, like, uh, please look at the verse. Uh... B1, okay. So we're done with the A1. <laughs> A part. Now we now we come to the B1. Okay, so now here uh, earlier what we have visualized the matter field, right? In the space above you, like in the height of your of forehead, and and you are facing the guru, you are facing towards the guru, and guru is facing towards you, right? In this manner, like a face to face but in the space above you. Now, uh, same as the earlier dissolution, so every, uh, okay, so here is the, okay, so here is the, like a um, father and the mother, uh, Wajadara, right? And, but then the, the throne dissolves to the cushions, the cushions are dissolved one, one at a time, and then mother dissolves to the father, father, now, fa Right now, you are facing towards the father. So when this this dissolution starts, when the father is uh, assaulted, so uh, he's facing like a he's like now father uh, comes towards your crown and facing. Well, how how do you say it? facing like same, same direction? Yeah, same same directions forward and be, when we in the matter field we have visualized uh guru vajatara at the like a human size now when it's first and gradually reduce reduce and so like a more simplified version reduce and reduce Tiksuka. and Tiksuka. dissolves uh, reduce up to a thumb size and then gradually dissolves at the crown of your head. Yeah, lion just around the ridge to chew like this. Any rangi chew do na ma you do chew ni any rang la tim song rang da la ma any rang la me kusun to chit kusun to da rang lunga is on image chew song sambach. So the words here samaya za here like at that point dissolves, and then once the like a B two. Once more, he joyfully becomes one of, becomes of one taste with me. It refers to when it dissolves, then he becomes inseparable with ourselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now uh, please look at the, this one like a, um, uh, after B2 in the, in, in the italic uh, paragraph, bring to mind whatever ascertainment of emptiness you have and briefly set your mind in equipoise on the emptiness of true existence. This is the definitive meaning of a Guru Yoga. You collect the accumulation of wisdom. It is it is the supreme protection and it is the way to God against the 11th root downfalls. 
ตาดิอ่าคุชาจิทัมซิอ่าชาจิกุยทัมซิโดจิทุกิทัมซิจุบุซุงกิทัมซิเซตัมซิซุมซุงไอติเรสตานิโดจิเซเบงาจิเซโ
ตัวเจ้าเนี่ยตัวเจ้าเนี่ยตัวเจ้าเนี่ยตัวเจ้าเนี่ยตัวเจ้าเนี่ยตัวเจ้าเนี่ยตัวเจ้าเนี่ยต
samayas so so this uh, beginning with the pati moksha vows and then bodhisattva vows the bodhisattva vows I, I mentioned you know that the um, um, 18 root uh, downfall and then I think 46 uh, near downfall or something like that and then they have uh, some uh, from the, the mother tantras and then also have a uh, 14 uh, root uh, wow from the tantra and then six near root walls from uh, and tantra those all uh, if we have a time we can explain each of those uh, in general uh, so you can find some of those commentary from some uh, commentary uh, about the like Guya uh, Samaja or the Yamendaka or some maybe some the ground and path of the Tantra or so if you uh, if you know those each of those it's good but it's uh, beginning maybe a little bit hard since a lot of numbers and a lot of explanation and uh, it's reality we have to know so many of them is very very uh, easy to break and day to day, uh, we might break quite often. <laughs> so if you know, the, the recognize that those uh, that maybe help to, uh, yeah, how to keep pure the, those samaya. So hopefully in the future we can have a uh, more uh, detail. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. It's all time. Uh, sorry for take more time. <laughs> take as much time as you want. <laughs> mm -hmm. The dedication you can do. And then some announcements, and then we'll have our cut offering. Okay. Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow. May that which has arisen not diminish but increase more and more. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. All powerful Chenrezi, Tenzin Gatso, please remain until samsara ends. And the teachings of the Buddha flourish, and may the holders of the teachings remain forever. May all migrators achieve happiness, and may they fulfill all their temporary and ultimate goals. We sing the magical display of the deep awareness of all the words we give a stream of profound and vast instructions to the fortunate migrators. Please remain always unperishing, unchanging, unfading. Ravala Kateshwar, great treasure of objectless compassion, Manjushri, master of flawless wisdom, Vajrapani, destroyer of the entire Hosamaras, Tsongkhapa, crown jewel of snowy land sages, Osang Dakba, I make request at your holy feet. So a quick announcement. So um, in a couple of weeks, March, Sunday, March 6th, we'll be celebrating a Losar, uh, New Year's. It's officially on the third, but we're also, we're gonna stretch it out. It's, that's a great part about it. So uh, we're going to be doing a very special ceremony calling and entering the path to prepare people to uh, understand what we do here at Lions Roar, who everybody is, what your commitments would be, so that if you want to take refuge, you know what you're doing, right? That's smart. So uh, Ramshay has really kindly said he, he's available to come for Losar. So I'm delighted. Still, okay. Tried to make it, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, not sure, okay. Yeah, so trying counts though. <laughs> <clears throat> so please uh, uh, pay attention to the, the roar or when it comes out, right? And then um, next week, uh, Ishitashi will be here to give a talk on secular Buddhism 
and Gachita should also be here for the entering the past ceremony. So uh, it'll be incredible Lothar event, don't you think? Yeah. So um, thank you again, and uh, uh, thank you, Ramshay, for being here. Yeah. Dive carefully, Thering. <laughs>